There is a well-known study of stone samples from Saxai Huaman, conducted in 2012 by a Russian research group. Their conclusion was that the blocks of Saxai Huaman may have an artificial origin. However, it is rarely explained what this conclusion was actually based on, and this is what we are going to examine. During the expedition, samples were taken from the blocks as well as one, and only one, sample from a supposed quarry. It is important to note that the exact location of the Saxai Huaman quarry has not yet been identified. Therefore, the researchers selected a nearby limestone outcrop, the same type reportedly used as a quarry by local inhabitants. The analysis revealed a difference between the block samples and the single sample taken from the presumed quarry. The difference was that the block material turned out to be microcrystalline limestone with no traces of organic remains. In other words, no shell fragments. Meanwhile, the single quarry sample showed organogenic limestone, meaning it contained shell debris. Nevertheless, the 2012 report stated the following conclusion, I quote, It can be said with certainty that such a process is impossible in nature. End of quote. This assertion was based on the author's belief that natural processes should produce larger calcite crystals rather than crystals in the 1, 10 micron range. Such a conclusion appears quite unusual to anyone with geological training. The fact is that microcrystalline limestone, or more precisely, micrite, has been part of limestone classification since Folk's system of 1959. Moreover, crystal sizes may be even smaller than 1 micron. Such material is referred to as menomicrite. The claim that natural formation of microcrystalline limestone is impossible contradicts both fundamental geological literature and regional geological data from Peru. Micrite and minimicrite are common products of sedimentary and diagenetic processes, described since Folk's early publications and confirmed by numerous studies of Peruvian carbonate formations. Therefore, the micritic structure of the Saxaihuaman blocks is entirely consistent with a natural origin and cannot be used as an argument for artificial manufacture. I will not speculate on what led the authors to such a statement, whether it was a lack of familiarity with carbonate petrography, methodological limitations, or interpretative errors. Their motives are beyond the scope of this discussion. The point is that the stone used in the Saxaihuaman blocks fully corresponds to a known natural rock type, microcrystalline limestone or micrite. This is further supported by the conclusion of another laboratory which analyzed the same samples and confirmed that the rock shows no signs of artificial origin. The mismatch with the single quarry sample indicates only that the chosen sampling location was likely not the actual source of the building material. And indeed, a sample taken directly from the limestone outcrop located adjacent to the walls showed a composition identical to that of the blocks. This suggests that the quarry may have been located right at the construction site itself, a common practice in polygonal masonry which also eliminates the need to transport large blocks over long distances. Such examples can be seen throughout Machu Picchu, Kilarumiak, and Colme. Thus, comparing the block material with any arbitrarily chosen sample from the surroundings was methodologically incorrect. One could just as well compare the micrite of the Saxai Huaman blocks with the diorite outcrop standing across the valley, and then claim that natural transformation of diorite into limestone is impossible. Of course, one possible argument for an artificial transformation of a biogenic limestone into micrite could be the complete mineralogical identity of the two materials. However, such a composition is typical of a wide range of natural limestones and, for example, is well documented in Belgian micrites. Therefore, the mere similarity of composition cannot be taken as evidence of artificial origin. The 2012 study is certainly useful since it identified the lithology of the building stone. However, the conclusion regarding artificial origin represents an unacceptable error from a geological standpoint. Nevertheless, the statement about possible artificial manufacture became widely quoted and eventually formed the basis for claims about ancient geopolymers. Meanwhile, the natural origin of all other stone types, such as the granite of Machu Picchu or the diorite of Inca Roca in Cusco, has never been in doubt. Conclusions First, According to the available analyses, the material of the Saxaihaman blocks corresponds to natural carbonate rock of micritic, microcrystalline type. This is consistent with both published petrographic descriptions and with the characteristic textures observed on the block surfaces. Second, micrite forms through natural sedimentary diagenetic processes and can span a wide range of geological ages. 
The specific age of the Sacsayhuaman samples is not determined in the published studies. However, in any case, by the time of construction it already existed as a fully consolidated, solid rock. This is supported by the observed traces of treatment, whose degree of detail increases toward the joints. Third, the lithology of the complex is heterogeneous. Not all blocks exhibit a dense micritic structure, some show porosity typical of organogenic limestones. Such varieties were not included in the 2012 sampling, which limits the completeness of current conclusions and highlights the need for broader petrographic and geochemical investigation. Thank you for watching. See you next time.